Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about using scientific notation. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. And first, we're going to convert standard notation to science, uh, scientific notation. And scientific notation is really a, um, well, the definition is this. A number is written in scientific notation if it is written in the form of a times 10 to the n power, where 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of a, which is less than 10, and n is an integer. So, quick words here, okay? It's in this form, a times 10 to the n power, and they say where 1 is less than or equal to the absolute value of a, which is less than 10, and then n is an integer, okay? So we're going to practice converting here. So we're going to uh, let me put this in a little box-ish thing. We're going to convert standard notation to scientific notation. Okay. So they give us little examples here. But they say the distance to Andromeda galaxy from Earth is this number. Okay. And we're going to convert that. It is 24. Oh, I gotta zoom in because I'm gonna forget. There's a lot of zeros here. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh, let's go. One, two, three. One, two, three. Bear with me. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. One, two, three. Meters, I believe. Let's double check that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets of three zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sets. So if there's seven sets of three zeros, that brings us to 21. One more is 22 places. So we have 22 places here, okay, from that decimal point. We are really bringing it over, right? One, two, three, all right, 22 times to get to there. So really this is 2.4 times 10 to the 22nd power meters. And obviously you can see the benefits here. It's a lot, but I mean, especially for much larger numbers, you can really break it down much smaller here, okay? Another galaxy, they love their galaxies. They say the diameter of the Andromeda galaxy is this large number, okay? One, three, zero, zero. One, two, three, four, five, six more. One, two, three, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six meters. Let's double check. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven commas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're good. So from here, Remember, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven is 21 decimal places that we would go over to get to this spot. So we would have, that's 21 places. And so it's 1.3 times 10 to the 21st meters. Not too bad. Okay, let's do C here, okay? C is the number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy. <clears throat> Man, they really like the Andromeda galaxy here. That is one, one, two, three, 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 four sections. One, two, good. So that's a lot of stars in the Andromeda galaxy. Okay. So what we see is we have one, two, three, four sets of three, which is twelve places. Twelve places here. And that simplifies to really just be 1 times 10 to the 12th. That's the number of stars in the Andromeda galaxy. Okay? Uh, I think I fit D in here. So we have D. And D is the diameter of an electron. This one's tricky. It's a really small decimal. Okay? So we have, let me zoom in here so I don't mess it up. Uh, 0. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, nine, four meters. Right, let's double check the zeros here. Hmm, one more zero. 
messed up. Okay, so what we want to do is remember we want to get the decimal point to the nine. So if we count it over, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have thirteen places to the right. So thirteen places. And so there we have a nine point four times 10 to the negative 13 meters. If we're going to the right, it's going to be a negative 13 meters. Okay? And the last question here says, the probability of struck by lightning in a single year. It's a low probability, but we can toss it in here. And I'm going to probably fit it right here. Okay? E, we have 0 0.123. I'm going to zoom in here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Two more. One, four, three. Okay? So let's go write this in scientific notation. Take the decimal, move it to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six places. And now we have a one point, oh, six places. And it's a 1.43 times 10 to the negative six power. So that wasn't too bad. We converted all that to sci uh, scientific notation. But let's learn to convert some things to uh, standard notation. So this half here, I may I'll do it with a different color. Hopefully it's not too hard to see. I think I can fit it in. Let's convert from scientific to standard. So we're going to convert scientific notation. to standard notation. Okay? So let's we'll start with A. A is 3.547 times 10 to the 14th power. Okay? So 10 to the 14th power, we take that decimal and move it to the right 14 times. So let's go add some zeros, right? We have three, five, four, seven. That was one, two, uh, one, two, three times. Let's get to 14. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, right? Add our commas here, and that should be it. And it was 14 places, right? So remember the decimal is here. And that three, uh, right after the three, and we went over 14 times, and we had to add extra zeros to make up for a space that wasn't there. And there's our standard notation. Let's try another one. B is negative two times 10 to the sixth power. Well, positive sixth power means six places to the right, so we have a negative two. Decimal point is here, so we move to the right, we're adding zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there we have it. Negative two with six zeros after it. All right. Those our answers. Pretty easy. Let's go with C. Let's keep this rolling. 7.91 times 10 to the negative 7. All right. Now pause it, see if you can get it first. All right, I'm done waiting. Let's go. Negative seven, that means the X, it's gonna go to the left, okay? So this one, let's go um, add seven places to the left there, okay? Uh, so I'm gonna actually rewrite it. It's kind of easier, I think, to see this as such. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's where the new decimal is gonna be. Fill in zeros. And let's toss another one for good measure. And there we have it, 0 0.0000071. And there's our standard notation. Our last one here, okay, is D. And they give us this, negative 8.05 times 10 to the negative 12th power. So let's do the same thing. Let's rewrite that, negative 8. 0 0.05 and negative 12 means we move 12 spaces to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. There's your decimal. Okay, so let's go fill it in below. 0 times uh, point, not times, point zero, 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 
for every space there, all these zeros. And don't forget that it's negative, and there we have it. Point zero with a whole bunch of them, 805. Well, hope you learned scientific notation, okay? And how to use it. We converted from standard notation to scientific notation, and from scientific notation to standard notation. If you like this video, uh, please let me know down below and like it, and uh, subscribe to our channel so we can keep making more videos to help you. Thanks for watching. Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. MinuteMathTutor.com